Welcome to the elven necropolis of Helmar. Deep inside these unhallowed catacombs, the mad elven king lies locked in his golden sarcophagus, his spirit trapped between this world and the next. In a desperate bid for immortality, the king made a terrible pact with the outer darkness, bringing certain doom on himself and his loyal subjects. Now, their spirits too have been forever sealed in sarcophagi scattered across the necropolis, and their plight has caused vile corruption to seep into the surrounding lands. To save the realm, you must find and set their spirits free, and vanquish any foul fiends standing in your way. Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I'm checking out Demio. I'm sorry, Demio. I keep pronouncing it wrong. Which is a brand new tabletop virtual reality game from the folks at Resolution Games. Uh, I've had the opportunity to have an early look at this game. I've, as you can see, had a little bit of experience. Um, just before we get started though, I want to show you the basement that we're in. It's a very cool basement. You've got some old uh, books, a telescope, a boombox, some vinyl on the wall, an old uh, power plug, surge protector. I don't know if that's a puzzle or another board game. A bunch of books again. Night of the Were Rat poster. An old video game console there. A poster of, I think, a goblin in the background over there. A DMEO poster over there. An old computer there. A bunch of boxes behind me. A guitar behind the kind of plush, comfortable looking chair there. And of course, the stairs out of the basement. Um, because all good role-playing games happened in a basement on a game table like this. Actually, this game table is a lot nicer than the game tables I remember. This is almost like an inset table, like those fancy ones you can find at conventions but can never really afford. I've played this a bit. So, there are multiple options. The heart of this game is multiplayer. I've played a little bit of multiplayer at this point. I actually helped the rendered reality folks play and defeat the boss uh, by joining their game super late in the game, going in with full power when the boss was almost felled, and then help them to defeat the boss and release the elven spirits. Uh, it's great because you can join the game using a room code. You'll see a room code pop up on the edges of the table here in a little while. Uh, but you can defeat the boss or just help your friends along the way. Um, and join in at any time in their game as long as that room is still active, which is awesome. For single player, you can't do that, um, which you'll see in just a moment. Uh, just want to go over the different heroes that we have. We have Sigrun, who's a champion of the Royal Guard, and Zedekar, who's a sorcerer of the spheres. So, Sigrun is more of your combat soldier, warrior style figure. Um, Zedekar is a wizard. Kai is an assassin. And then Aylin is the character that I'll be playing. She's an archer. I love ranged attacks in these types of games. In fact, when I play, I'm either a wizard or someone that does ranged attacks. As you can see, the game that we're about to play is the Black Sarcophagus. It's an adventure for up to four players. You can see the Mad Elven Queen on the cover here. It says, Excitement for All Ages. It is book one of the Demio action role-playing system. Uh, I will say, this is a starter set. There's a second book that they've teased that's coming this summer. So I look forward to that. Because right now, there truly is just this one adventure. So even if you're playing with friends, I have a feeling that one adventure might get away. Where should I go? Your quest is simple. Fight your way down to the bottom floor and destroy the terrible keeper lurking there. Only then can the trapped elven spirits be released. Alright, so at this point you can see there's a room code on the side there. If I turn my hand over, we've got poison tip darts, or I'm sorry, poison tipped arrows, hail of arrows, and regular arrows that we can use. Regular arrows 
replenish each time uh, so you can actually just use two of these attacks if you're nearby enemies and then right now I have a healing potion as well so we're gonna pick up my player character and I tend to regret the path forward that I take each time I'm gonna go I'm gonna go right there so I do see an enemy already what I'm gonna try to do is see if I can hit them with an arrow Nice. So we've already killed that archer. We're going to take our wizard character. And you see there's a ranger over there. And there's a spider right behind them. So what I'm curious of is should I use freeze? Or no, I'll just use that. Because the spider characters, in fact, I'll, I'll actually highlight over them. Goblin Ranger's got three hit points. The spider's only got two. So we'll go ahead and go for that goblin ranger here. We've killed them. I will destroy. Now we will move this character here. We're actually just going to move him a little bit further forward to see if we can see further. The monsters move. Go now we have our archer character go after the spider. Man, I've gotten three critical hits in a row. That is way more than I would Die, normally get. Monster. All right, so turn things around a bit. So you can see the points of interest glowing across the map. I kind of want to head up these stairs. I don't know why, and I may regret it. So we're going to head this way and see what happens. Of course, there's an Elvis pre Elvin Elvis. Elven priest up there. Let's see if we can zap them a bit. Whoa, again! Um, I wish every game was like this. This is awesome so far. So we're going to go ahead and just attack him. And miss. That's not good. So as you can see, if you miss, you miss, and that's really what happens. Uh, I don't see anything actually up here that we need of merit. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, so that I can prepare myself, is I'm going to give they our warrior some armor. What that armor does is when enemies attack, it kind of helps out a bit. Um, I didn't really want to go up this way. I don't know why I headed that way, to be fair. Um, I could do the Hail of Arrows, but I don't think I need to yet. Let's see what happens with this attack. It's a regular attack. My arrow is Now we'll do Zap. Same character. Another standard Come, attack me. there. And then... I kind of feel like we should use freeze just for fun. Uh, can't without also impacting my friendly character. So, hmm. I think it's probably best just to skip our turn. So that way these spiders are a little bit further away. Um, we could do whirlwind attack, but I don't think I want to. I think I'm just going to use this attack here. Them. Line up and die. Then we'll kill the spider. Got one spider right there, but I look at that, a surprise me. elven priest. Because hiding in the shadows can always be more enemies. And of course, like I showed before, I can also have... Can also be a lot further up on the board. You can change your viewing angle at any time. My arrow will stop. Kind of like being a little bit closer to the action, if that makes sense. Now what I'm gonna do is actually move him up. 
an attack from here. It's usually just a punch if I don't miss. In this case, I actually miss, so... The punch... I punched air. It's pretty funny. Alright, let's, uh... See if we can kill this guy. Line up and die. And again, try to repair the armor because the spider's gonna attack us. And again, it just took armor instead of actually harming us. Now, unfortunately, the spider's just slightly out of reach. What I'm gonna do is actually just attack the spider instead of hitting it with an arrow. Instead. And now we've got Die. a bunch of riches here we can get. So we'll go ahead and pick these up. These are going to be useful, especially if we make it to the next level. So as you can see, some more more powerful enemies over here. We've got a Ma Goblin Madden and an Ice Elemental that have surfaced over here in the corner. Um, neither of them have the key, though which is important to note. Um, but what we might do... Ah, heck with it. I'm going to just stay where we're at. This might be a bad choice, but as you can see, there's a healing fountain right there. Um, I don't think there's anything we can do just yet, but I'm going to move right here. All right. The and you can see there are more, this time, goblin rangers around. So the ice elemental is now closer to our other friends. We've got a skirmisher and a goblin madden right there. So blanket and area with deadly projectiles. Let's go with poison tip. Hopefully this doesn't miss. And it does. That's not good. So we might actually get our friend. Applying poison. Thankfully, we didn't. Um, let's go after this ice elemental again. Straight. Better than nothing. Um, I'm gonna go with a fireball. I don't know if this is actually a good idea or not. So let's move back first. Then let's go with the fireball. I figure it's an ice element, so that might help. They gave us a couple more spiders, unfortunately. Um, the first thing we're going to do with our friend here is repair their armor. My plate and mail have been repaired. Then we'll attack our friend here. Nice double attack. Now you can see even Monster. more monsters swarming, because that was a bad choice. Oh. And our wizard character has been downed. Um, wondering if there's a good way to... No, looks like just... Shooting them with arrows. My aim is true. My arrow will fail. Have him run in this direction. And actually, we can defeat the spider while we're at it. Unfortunately, this guy's got a special oh coming God. Up. I think I can use a healing potion when I'm dead. Oh, yes I can. I didn't know that. That's cool. That's good to know. So we will zap this guy. I call lightning! And then what we're going to do is move him back to kind of insulate him Monster. from attacks. Oh man. This is not good. Forgot to shield our dude. I think he might die. Yes. yes. What should I do? Well, what you should do and what you will do might be two different things. Let's use the arrows here. A little bit. And 
arrows again. This guy's panicked now. He's like, uh oh, what are we in for? Here we go, zap. And then I feel like we should bring our friend back to life. We cheat death once more. Yes, awesome. So, we're sort of surviving, not in the most effective way. Um, if we can make it through all of these enemies, we have a healing fountain right there, though, so that's a good sign. I don't think we're going to make it through all these What should I do? A little to the I'm gonna go with that. I feel better. But it's haste though. You know what? I'm gonna do this. Bring him back. There you go. Now you know what? I think he was right there. Let's use I wonder if I can use freeze over here. Actually, I wonder if I can use freezer. Yeah, let's do that. Beautiful. That defeated three enemies, made one run. We still have zap. Use that on this guy. Go after the Elven Hound and miss. One thing we can do is repair our armor. So that'll be helpful. Monster time. I hate when they do that. There's a giant spider now coming. Seems to move pretty quickly as well, which is not a great sign. Straight. Aw, oh, man. Find the target. Death take you! I'm gonna go this way, <laughs> and I am going to use the healing fountain. I have this guy run as well. Have him go over here. All right. Monster time. I'm ready to go. So, I'm going to try this. Man. I hope this works. I'll rain death on you. Only four. That is not the attack I was looking for. I was hoping it would be like ten. Straight. So we've got one more card for each character because we survived all of that. Um, I feel like there was an enemy up there. I'm going to try to go up these stairs over here. That's the plan, at least. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna do the same with him. Or, I'm sorry, with her. All right, monster time. <laughs> Where can you go? Well. How this guy be a marked enemy? You've been marked. And then I need to zoom in a little bit so I can see this card better. 
pick up and throw the die. And so we'll do that one more time. Pray we don't die. And there's a good chance of death, just so that you know. Hmm. That seemed a little too easy. So we've got an adamant potion, a repeating ballista, and a summon elemental. The summon elemental will come in handy for sure. Now I'm wondering what's up in this corner. I may regret this. Oh, that's the door. Well, that's a good place to have a door. Unfortunately, that's not where the enemies are. So, let me just go hide over here for right now. And of course, I'm right in the target range of both of those guys. That's not good. Ready to hunt. All right. So, I can make myself invulnerable for three turns. That could be helpful. For right now, though, I really want to kill this spider before it does any more damage. My I'll then, slash you. Let's try to kill this guy. A little. All right, and then I go this way. You know what? I'm just gonna take all the gold. Cause let's be real, gold is important. On twos. No, just one, but that's okay. Still killed that. <laughs> Even that far away, still being an annoying nuisance. So we have found the character that has a key. It's a fire elemental. Um, we're gonna go this way. And then this way. And then. We're gonna build a repeating ballista. Drop it right there. This will keep them occupied. And then we're gonna do zap on this guy. No sense and then we're gonna summon an elemental to attack right there. I have called elemental them. versus elemental. That should be a good battle, right? Man, I don't know. I feel like a straight line starting there is a good good call. Let's get a good throw in. That was good. All right, the monsters are up. So they killed the ballista, but that's quite all right. And that happens sometimes, you know? Oh, ready. So right here. We do the adamant potion so that we live, because that will help us get through this next phase. Find the top. We'll do zap right there. Beautiful. Oh, I almost want to do the magic barrier, but I think I'm just going to stay right here for right now. This is a tough choice. I could do charge, or I could do healing potion. If I do healing potion, that would super help her. So let's do that. I feel much better. And then, oh, heck with it. Let's do charge. Let's go through these guys. only a weak attack on both, which is potentially going to sacrifice our friend here. Let's repair their armor. This armor will protect you. Let's see what the monsters do. 
this battle taking place right here between our friend and our enemies. So the fire elemental is dead. That puts the key on us. I'm ready to go. That should kill them. Are you too Die already! We got Zap coming up here, but we can't use it because they're too far away. So we'll move our wizard character here. Then we'll use Zap. Again, repair our armor. My armor is holy. Kill that guy. That's gonna down our wizard character, unfortunately. But what we're gonna do... Nice, our fire elements are just kick butt there. We got new cards for all of our friends. I'm ready. We're gonna move her up here. And we're gonna head toward the door over here. So we're gonna move her right here. Um, fortunately, as we make a reach, we, reach treat, we have our fire elemental that's still got a little bit of life left in them, so they can take care of that Maduin that's coming this way. Stand and one fight retreated with us once more. You might remember that they retreated. I did not remember that they had retreated, so that makes a big difference. Move them there, move them a little bit further that way. Okay, monster time. Two. So, we're gonna move her here, and then her over here. Now, the door is locked. Um, let's go right here, and then right here, and then let's run this guy as well. What should you do? Well, the door is locked. You've got a key. Why don't we open it? So here we are at Cleto's, Cleto's Bazaar. Um, there are a bunch of different tasks and a bunch of different cards that you can purchase. We've got 557. I'm going to buy... That nice healing potion. These repeating ballistas are actually pretty good. Um, you can also teleport to any tile. Summoning lesser beasts might work out. Let's do the ballista. Don't regret getting that one. Let's do that, and let's Thank do you, the kindly. summoning beasts. Blind. And let's be ready for the next. The second floor of the will prove a true test of your skills. So, as you can see, all of our health is the same as it was when we left the last level. We've still got our fire elemental friendly with us right here. Um, I don't think I have enough health to live through this one. Go this way and see what happens. I don't think they can attack me up here. This is doing is opening up a bunch of the map that we can now see. That goblin's potentially gonna attack and kill us. That was coming. Oh, ready. I'll slash you. Let's 
So what we're going to do is we're going to attack this character. My arrow will doesn't kill them, but that's okay. Um, I don't know if I tried to heal my folks if it would actually heal them right now, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to just head up here for right this minute. Oh my gosh! You can see down there. There's an elven marauder with a key, but look at all that there is around them. This is going to be tricky. So we're going to end our turn. Okay. Monster. And we are about to find out what happens. Go ready. If... Well, first of all, I've got, I've got all these kind of cool attacks. Hmm. I could kind of go Armageddon here and just do... Can I do Hail of Arrows? Yes, I can. Let's do it. They, they are the baddest. Attack them. Uh, I don't know what just happened, actually. I thought I was supposed to be attacking them, and I never got... That was weird. Okay. Uh, piercing throw. And then we'll repair our armor as we always do. My armor has been repaired. I'm what? That's cheating. All right. I'm more than 100% sure we're going to die. Oh, I hired Lesser. Okay. Where should I go? That was not what I meant to do, but that's okay. Um, so let's do this. No. Yeah, this is still fine. I really want to kill that dude. Death from above. Death take you. And then let's use our healing potion. Uh, you know what? No, we're not going to use our healing potion. Let's arm a ballista. The ballista will help us. And now what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves that. My armor is full. And we're going to drink up. Something. All the enemies are at least panicked. That's a good sign. It's the monster scene. They grabbed our ballista. That's interesting. I've never seen that happen before. kind of swarmed right now. We're close to getting the key. Alright. Friend, self-destruct. I feel like Beast Whisperer again. Here! Fight them! They're the baddies! And then, um... Let's move her here. That might be a bad move. Uh, well, again, always repair armor. My armor is my best. So our ballista is dead, unfortunately. The rat just pooped himself. He just got more. Now she's gonna die. That's not good. 
So we just have the one character left. He's already poisoned. Oh, no. Once again, we're gonna repair our armor. Actually, let's try to kill the rat first, then we'll repair our armor. Miss the rat. That is why we're gonna try again. Death in two, but we have a healing potion available. I feel better. Oof, the taste though. The heck with it. Let's try this one first. Straight. Just like Die, you monster! Okay. Monster time. We're going after her again. Uh-oh. He's up to five. That's not a good sign. Those are gonna spawn soon. How come my mice didn't do anything. It's a little odd that they didn't actually help. Okay. That was weird. And I missed. What a great way to potentially end this. I trust my armor to face the enemy this time. I don't think there's even a chance that our friend's gonna live to see this one. But this character might. I stand ready. run. I think that's the best we can do right now. I'm sorry for myself. We do not know where the doorway is. That's the first thing I want to mention. It could be in any direction. My friend is dead over here. Of course, now we have a healing ward. And we are totally just running. What do we get? Summon elemental. That will help us. I actually want to use that if I can. Nope, can't get. It's enemy turn. Summon the elemental to come fight alongside us. I have called him. And we'll go up this way and see what happens here. That is still not what we need. It's hard to say where the gateway is. I will say, we know that's a treasure chest there. We still have a slight I chance while we're limping along. You survive here. The monster's moving. But it is really hard to say where we're headed. Kind of a fog of war situation also. Still no gate. I'm frightened, so I'm gonna repair my armor. This armor will protect you from the enemy's time. We're gonna try to head this way next. Again, not sure if it's gonna help, but worth it. Life's done, Rick. It is the so that guy's right there. You can see them. 
My spear is sharp and my shield steady. Oh good, another healing fountain. That will help us. Monster. Uh, and we still don't know where the doorway is. And look at all the enemies starting to surround us. Protect the rock. Alright, we are gonna do a whirlwind attack here. I will fell you all! God. You know, this is a great place for a stand, so... Oh, honor. What are the fiends do? Because we've got the healing fountain right there, so if we can get these guys all dead... We might be in a decent spot. I am ready. Um... I don't want to do another whirlwind attack, I don't think. But, you know... No harm in that. Taste my steel! Taste for steel. Yes. Right there, yes. Go back to the abyss. Right, now let's kill this rat like character here. I will vanquish you. Another rat like character there. The enemy will be vanquished. Kill that one. I'll spare you all. And then we're gonna heal. The monsters are up. We're gonna head this way. Maybe down here, actually. Let's find out what happens if we head that way. I stand ready. So that's also not the door we're looking for. But we're gonna head up here and see if maybe it's up there. Really hard to say. Taste my steel. There's a treasure there. Let's grab that. Monster. Did not grab that. I made a mistake. Another healing ward. We've got two of those now. Got an oil lamp. And then if we go right here. The monsters are drawn to. And there's a giant spider. Never been a fan of giant spiders. And of course they tackled us. Oh, so we might have found a way out here. Is that a doorway though? I can't tell. I think that is a door. I, I can't tell if that's a doorway or not. Alright, let's go this way. Let's do a charge. The cool thing is, like, look at the detail on these characters, and this is a quest build, so this is a... Man, still no idea. Let's see if we can kill this little rat here. I'm gonna try going through this door Line up and my dog, which beats monster time. Our little mice friends from earlier are still alive. Ready for battle! See if this door does that give us what we need. It does. So if we can make it. Oh, honor. Grab that gold. The door is open. We have made it to the final level. Where should I go? All three of our characters have re resurrected. We're absolutely gonna buy more healing potions. That card will surely aid you in the pinch. 
Let's detect enemies is useful, so we're gonna pick that up. I feel like Beast Whisperer really helped us last time, so we'll pick that up. Much obliged. And we'll do poison tips again. Much obliged. So here we are, we're ready again. Do you have the strength and fortitude to defeat the wicked keeper? Venture forth and see. So as you can see, all three of our characters are back. Two of them are at half strength. Um, this is going to be a bad choice, but it's okay. There's just a goblin chieftain down there. They don't notice us yet. So this right here, that's the vault that's locking the elven spirits. If we happen to get lucky and defeat the elven queen, which chances are pretty low to be honest that, that happens um, let's see what happens though oh good there's an unheard right next to us now, the unheard are actually fairly weak I call lightning. they're stunned so this might actually help kill them because they can do some bad bad things to make characters there's another on here right there I have a feeling if we head in that direction bad bad things are gonna happen because we've got elementals already we're already getting weakened here's what we're gonna do Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. I'm ready. Alright, so. I have a healing potion. I'm gonna use that on myself. What's with the taste of the dead badger? Then I'm gonna use a poison tip dart on this character here. Dipped in poison. It's a weak attack, but it's something. Then I'm gonna summon some beasts. They, they are the badness. Attack them. All right. This guy is in a world of hurt right now because he's got an unseen right behind him. Zap on them too, for good measure. The Lord God. I will destroy you. That's funny that they say that they're going to destroy, but are they really? Knock all enemies out of your path. If I do this. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. And I missed. So I ended up hurting myself more than the enemy. Which, you know, happens sometimes. I'm going to go with Healing war Ward right here. And try to bring... Oh, beautiful. And there she is. Beautiful Elven Queen. Ready to completely and utterly pwn me. Right there. Uh, Elven Queen. Uh, and now the Elven Queen is invulnerable, which makes it even worse. And this is the part where I'd love to have a friend come out. That's not going to happen, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, it would certainly help if it could happen. I love that my little mice and, and spider friends, though, they're holding their own. Uh, 
Now we can't do anything to damage. Wow. Elemental or the Elven Queen. No. I'm ready to go. Attack this guy. You fiend. And then I'm gonna use the hunter's mark. Marked. And then I'm gonna use the hunter's mark. You've been marked. And then I'm gonna try to use the arrow. Oh wait, she's invulnerable. That was a complete waste. But you know, maybe it'll help for my other friends to not die. They're gonna die. Find the target. They're gonna die. Die. So zap. Zap's a, a good spell. Um, we're gonna go try to resurrect our friend. Fit to the fiddle, I should say. We're gonna zap this one because it's the only thing we can really do. Shine tans for be gone. This is tough. Um, we're gonna go with healing ward right there. This Repair one. armor. I repaired my armor. And prayers. Uh, Thoughts and prayers. The monsters are That's really all we can do. So the uh, Oh man. The Elven Queen is uh, now at least able to be marked, but unfortunately uh, our character has died. The one that could attack the Elven Queen. Uh, but look, look, eight. Oh, still an unheard over there, unfortunately. I'm ready. She keeps saying she's ready, but. I don't think she knows what that means. For the god. I have prepared my own. Let's see if we can hold our own. It's the monster's time. This is interesting now. Because the Elven Queen is at seven power. And just stepped in poison. So, she's invulnerable for this turn. But if she stays put... There's still a shot here for our character. And again, marked with seven power. Hmm. Honor. has done. She's still invulnerable, so that it would be useless to do anything right now. I'm gonna end my turn. And let's see what happens. This is interesting. We have a shot. It's not a very good shot. We did it! You have slain the keeper, freeing the crystal key from his grasp. The key seeks the lock for which it was made. And there go the elven spirits. The elven spirits have been released, but your quest does not end here. Many more spirits must be set free before you are ready to face the unfathomable evil of the elven king. You were victorious. So we've completed the end of that adventure. We're now a tenderfoot.
And as you can see, a new adventure is coming soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This was an extended look at Demio out today on Oculus Home for Quest and also on Steam. I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.